and welcome back to Everhood, an ineffable tale of the inexpressible divine moments of truth. I can't even say that, even though I've played this game before. Uh, but welcome. We played this before my break. We had a good time. It's a short game. Yo, thanks for the sub! I'm sure VOD viewers are so happy that we started with the subscription. <laughs> You should be excited. Be excited. There's going to be so much Mario, so much fun. There's going to be story, lore, sans, papyrus, sex scenes with sans. <laughs> All right. Sunday streams, dreams. It's going to be crazy. So you don't even understand. But, uh, um, yo Shaggy got a new subscribe. Guess what? Yo mama should have got a new fucking son. That's not a fat bitch, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I feel so bad for the three VOD viewers that watch on YouTube. Um, no, but welcome to the stream. Uh, last time we played a lot, it was fun. I don't know. It's If you want to know about this game, by the way, I have a mom. I know, dude, I was slamming her last night. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta fucking back up. Um, what was I talking about? This is a, a game that's... <laughs> It's a game that's a lot like uh, Undertale. <laughs> Where were we? Midnight Town? The greatest place around? God, it feels like it's been five billion trillion years since I've pulled stream dang. I just can't wait for weather not to be hot, dude. It's gonna look like I'm always sweating. But yeah, uh, this game is, is a lot. It's like Undertale Guitar Hero. Alright? So, yeah. Take that as, take that as you will. Um, in other video game related news, uh, Reb reminded me, I knew about this, but Reb reminded me of the, I don't know how to pronounce the game cause I've never played it. Nikkei, the, the Nikkei crossover with Nier Automata. I just can't believe that that's real. I, I, I can't believe that that is like an actual crossover. It shouldn't surprise me knowing Yoko Taro. Like, it shouldn't. Like, actually, he should have just been like, yes. But, uh... It's... it's You downloaded the game just to see it? Yeah. Um... The game's kind of boring. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But anyways, let's go to uh, Midnight Town. See what's going on here. Brown Mage. Who is out there? If anyone is out there, it's kind of an emergency. Could you get some toilet paper? I'll reward you with the lava lamp for your troubles. Interesting. So for anybody who doesn't know the story, uh, we are Red, a puppet that woke up and he got his arm stolen. And now we are on a quest all across Everhood to find our missing arm, which was stolen by a guy named Goldpig. So we need to go all over the world and find, get our arm back. That's the story. Blub, blub. Hi there. I feel that I am destined to do great things in my lifetime. Well, he's positive. Let's go in the flower shop. These flowers smell like an old person's breath. Oh, that's not a very pleasant scent. These flowers smell like childhood. Chat, what does your childhood smell like? Probably like Jack Daniels and sweat from your dad's knuckles. These flowers smell like barbecue. These flowers smell like something beautiful. These flowers smell skunky sweet. These flowers smell like paper. Carrot cake? Interesting. These strange flowers smell like dirt. A rigidly locked chest. Wow! What is that clay pot you have? It would fit perfectly for something I had in mind. I will give you something valuable in return. Could I have the uh, clay pot? 
What do you think, chat? Yes or no? Are we giving this guy the clay pot? Yeah, alright. This feels great! You can take my old hat. But yeah, if anybody uh, likes this stream, I do recommend watching part one of our playthrough. You picked up a frisbee-looking hat. But like I said, we're just looking for our, our uh, arm. That's why we're here. Hi, small figure. I am Stone Guardian. I really like eat, but I no move. Oh, you have food? Can I has cake? So if you guys don't remember, we got the cake for completing that obstacle course in the carnival. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. Blech. This was bad cake. Thanks for nothing. You picked up a hook. I really need a roof for my home. Maybe I can give you some trash if you find me a roof. I do have some half-used toilet paper if that would be useful. Hey, Brown Mage said that he needed toilet paper. Hey, that circular frisbee looking thing would be perfect as a roof for my house. What would you say? If we traded my toilet paper for your head. All right. Finally, a roof over my head. But you won't be getting my toilet paper. You see, I need it too. Haha. <laughs> oh boy. Now we gotta fight this guy. Let's see if I still got it, Chad. I haven't played in a while. Let's see if I'm still the GOAT. Because I am playing on hard mode. We're still on hard mode. Sweet. Ugh, what a bother. Fine, take the toilet paper. But I am keeping the roof. Sweet. What a beautiful metal... What beautiful metal thing is that? I would love to trade it. Want to trade? Uh, sure. I look so cool. Here, take this. This nice stick. I feel like we made a bad trade. Damn, dude. Well, he does look pretty cool. Can't argue with that. Yeah, yeah. Who's out there? If anyone is out there, it's kind of an emergency. Could you get some toilet paper? I'll reward you with the lava lamp. Just attach it to the hook and I will hoist it up. Ah. Yes. Finally, I can wipe my table clean. 
Oh, right. Oops, sorry, my microphone is all fricked up. I promise you something. A lava lamp, right? Oh, no. I've got bad news. I seem to have lost it. Mm. If you bring me batteries, I promise to make something really, really unique and special. That's a super promise. I won't step outside of my keep. Terrible things happen outside. Things that want to kill you. Bring me batteries and I promise that I'll give you something unique. Man, this guy fucking lied to me, dude. We got him toilet paper for nothing. Alright, let's see what's going on in this bumping house, house party. Paper. Oh no. What the hell? It's all of our friends! We got Mushroom, Unnamed Mushroom. We've got Rasta Beast. I can't wait to get started. What does Mushroom have to say? Teal Wizard Mushroom, looking forward to playing. It's fun pretending to be someone else. Hi there, Red. We can finally start the game. Let's go! This certainly is out of my comfort zone. I don't have anything else to do. Sorry about that. But I do like your company. What are you standing over here for? Are we gonna play or not? Hello. Escapism is what I really adore. Spending time with good friends is what makes it worth so much more. Welcome, Red. There's still room for one more player if you want to join. I promise you, it's going to be a blast. Welcome, Red. Oh. The hatch is shut tight. You can't seem to get it open. This is Everhood. First, uh, first episode's up on our YouTube channel. It seems we're all finally here. Now, are you ready? Ready for an epic adventure? It's very, uh, it's like a, it's very Undertale inspired, but still very unique. Good. Let me just... Set the mood. Let me know if I have to turn up the audio, by the way. I don't know why my microphone keeps peaking. That's another thing. If if we make enough money for this September, I really do need a new microphone because this shit has... I don't even know. It's been through so much. I don't know how it's still working, but I'm so thankful it is. But anyways, let me know if I got to turn up the music or the audio. Let Green Mage set the mood for us. Let the adventure begin. Once upon a time, in the land of Medallion. There was a village whose name had been forgotten. In the little town was settled with uh, the little town was settled with happy, hard-working villagers. But beyond the lake, deep in the darkness, stood a tower so tall that it reached the clouds. The villagers could see a mysterious light and shadows moving at the top of the tower. Fearing that an evil wizard had taken hold of the tower, the townspeople hoped for a hero to save them for the presumably ill fate. Within the village was a temple that protected the ancient relic capable of withstanding evil. The sword that deflects red attacks. Really? That's a really dumb name. I find it quite descriptive. Guys, please don't interrupt. <laughs> During a dark, rainy night, a warrior entered the temple. So this is such a cool part of the game because it's like a game in a game. So this next whole arc of the game, you're actually just playing a D&D &D adventure in the game. 
So we actually stopped the real story, and now we're playing the D and D story in the game with the with our friends. Isn't it so cool? So like now we're actually it's it's we're playing a, a, a story within a story for this whole arc. It reminds me of like straight out of like Paper Mario. Oh, great warrior! Take this sword, our most valuable relic. Vanquish all of the evil, and save our small village. Da -da -da -da. Receive this sword and gain its powers of deflecting red attacks. There's another reason why this is such an awesome part of the game, and you literally have like a new move now. Now instead of just dodging and jumping, you can use the sword to deflect red, uh, like red notes. It's so cool. With this power, you might be able to face the evil wizard. Number four. Holy shit! It's the, the knob goblin slobbling. Give me all your treasures! Or pay with your lives! Oh, great warrior, we are helpless. Save us from this foul bandit. Alright. Here we go. Now we can fight back. Holy shit. So, yeah, now we can jump, move, and attack. Only red attacks, though. It only works against red. I'm fucking him up. <laughs> you have bested me. This is the only part of the game where you have the sword, yeah. You only have the sword in the D&D campaign. You... You saved us, oh great warrior. Hooray! Now make haste to the tower and defeat the evil wizard. What a fight! I was afraid the goblin was gonna rob us blind. Glad you were here. I don't think I would have stood a chance against it. That was some battle! I hope you can defeat the evil wizard. I heard he has the power to change time. Which is supposed to be a concept between the past, present, and future. This game is so fun. Yes, yeah, September, baby! Our goal is to get to 100 MF and subs, bro. And we're doing our first subathon uh, one week from today, next Saturday. We're doing our first subathon. What a cool way of fighting. You just went zap, zap, zap on the goblin. I wish I had arms so I could wield the sword. Good fortunes to thee in thy quest, O great warrior. Our warrior had a quest. Little did the warrior know what terrible challenges were ahead. This seems like a waste of time. We could be doing something more important, Red. Why should Red listen to someone called Thief? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm glad you're the warrior, Red. I'm gonna bump the audio a little bit. There we go. And so, our quest to defeat the evil wizard begins. Mm. Mm. Moo. Mm. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. This game is stupid, but I love it. This game is so dumb, but I love it. Dude, it's this game is so good. It's like an Undertale-inspired Guitar Hero rhythm game, and our first episode's up on YouTube. We're playing more tonight. Hey, it's Rasta Beast. He's fighting the the thingamajig. Hey there, Red. You on your quest to slay the evil wizard? You see, that is also my quest. That guy's terrorized these villagers too long. I see that you have the sword that deflects red attacks. I am not relying on any steel. My weapons are my fists. Just out of curiosity, would you like to engage in some friendly sparring? To see which of us is the strongest? 
Your sword versus my fists. Do you want a sparring battle? Of course! Because this is one of my favorite songs in the game. I think this is like my fourth or third favorite song in the whole game, so yeah. And it's optional, so I'm gonna fight him. Alright, let's bump this music up for this one. Let's see who's the strongest. It's an easy fight, but the song's badass. Here we go. Oh, shit! <laughs> Fucking him up, bro. Whoo! Take that one, Rasta bitch. So oh, he's cool. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you got some impressive moves. I have to practice harder, damn right, son. If I'm to beat the evil wizard before you. <laughs> no, what happened, buddy? Help me, Red. <laughs> this game is too hard. I got attacked by squirrels. Could you help me up? Help him or no, chat? We doing genocide route? I'll help him. He's, he's a poor guy. This is his first time playing D&D. &D, Gotta be, can't be toxic. Thanks a bunch. This time, I will not fail. Watch. <laughs> wow, those squirrels don't give up. Would you mind helping me again? Thanks a bunch. This time I will not fail. Bruh. Wow, those squirrels don't give up. Would you mind helping me again? Thanks a bunch. This time I will not fail. I am really flabbergasted by this. <laughs> I'll try some... Uh, something else to trick those squirrels. You mind helping me again? Thanks a bunch. This time I will not fail. Look at that. Thanks for helping me, Red. Never mind. Please just go. I'll figure this out somehow. Well, he gave up. That sucks. Oh my god, dude. It's the Dark Knight. You dare enter my domain? I have been commanded to not let a soul pass this bridge. If you are to cross, prepare to pay with your life. Oh boy. Now we gotta fight Shovel Knight. The Dark Titan? Time for good vibes? Hell yeah! Welcome to September! Alright, shh, we're fighting the Dark Knight, bro! Welcome to the Milky Finishers! This guy's menacing, bro. He said, screw the sword, I'm gonna do sick dance moves. He's vibing. He's vibing. But so am I, dude.
I'm just goaded, dude. What can I say? I'm just too good. Sayonara! Oh, turn it up. Well, that was a quiet song. Let me know. Hey, what's up, taters? Yes, we still have about 10 minutes. It's going to start in about 10 minutes. We'll take a little break. Uh, and then we're going to play the trailer. The trailer. You got some dank moves. With such great powers. I sure hope you're a good aligned character. And now he's dead. Yeah, this one was quiet. Uh, let me know for the other songs, though. It was just like a smooth jazz. Subs are not 25. Oh, they're 30% off for you? Well, even better, bro. The warrior had proven their skills twice. Their confidence was high, which would be needed. The swamp of chaos would challenge the warrior to their very core. Swamp of Chaos? Isn't a swamp level a bit cliche? Next save point, we're going to play the trailer, which should be in like five minutes. What's next? The sewer level before the tower? <laughs> Green Mage is the dungeon master, so he's like, uh, no. It's actually uh, the Badlands of Chaos. You don't gotta change the entire level just because Zig... No, 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 it's fine. I was obviously kidding that there was a swamp level. This is better. <laughs> so... This is the Badlands of Chaos. Because Green Mage changed it at the last minute, the level looks like shit. <laughs> So it just, it just looks like garbage. It looks like an Atari game. Honestly, the graphics in this level are uh, very uh, ugly. It really looks unfinished. Well, that's what you get. Just saying so you can make it better. <gasps> the save point's got a cool little Robin Hood hat. Hello, fellow adventurer. I had gathered equipment specifically for the swamp. Antidote potions, camouflaged armor, a sword to cut nasty vegetation terrain. But due to the recent update of this level, I had to throw all of it away. It was getting too warm in these scorching badlands. Ah oh well, at least I found a use for this nice hat. Sorry for rambling. Uh, anyway, you want to save? Let's talk to Bluey. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me in the D&D game. Bro, this level sucks. <laughs> this is empty. Green mage, you suck. Stop hitting me! Only if you give me all your items. Flan, is that you? Didn't see ya. This is my custom made mech character from Gear Assault. This fantasy game is way easier with a mech. I also noticed that attacking other players gives me more loot. This must be breaking several game rules. Hmm. I'll have to check the rule book. Hold on. You play a good character, don't you, Red? Uh-oh. In that case... Uh, green? Hand over all your items. Or feel the wrath of Chaos Six. Oh boy, this guy's cheating, bro. We're doing it. We're doing a fantasy D and D dungeon campaign. This guy's bringing his sci-fi mech character in. It's like making a character in Starfield and playing him in Skyrim. Is bullshit. Oh god. I swear, I hit it. Holy shit!
Ah! God, he's almost dead. That's what I'm talking about, dumbass! Crossover moment. Good thing Andrew's not here. He hates crossovers, bro. He's like, I hate crossovers. Dude, I smoked him so hard. It's like ashes. I feel bad for him, but he attacked me. He attacked me. Welcome back. Yo, what's up, Ludwig? You just missed the mint trailer. But uh, I'll be posting it in Discord tonight, so don't you worry. We're playing some more Everhood. Welcome to Sub Temper. The Milky Finishers are back, baby. Didn't I tell you guys? Didn't I tell you guys I'd fucking be back? Dude, I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. We're going to hit 100 subs in no time. And we got subathons and crazy stuff. We're actually at 32 subs, by the way. <laughs> Wrong video. <laughs> That, that video is like right next to my sub counter button on OBS, so I always accidentally hit it. There we go. You love the hype? Well, that's what I'm here for. All right? The, the weather's going to be cooling down. My creativity's blasting. You guys are excited for a short story. I love making stuff. I love making stuff. I haven't made something since the Milky Smash Invitation, like, story. So... He looks like an earthbound enemy. Well, he... I kind of whooped his ass. We're playing a D&D campaign right now, and he tried to bring a mech, so I blew him up. <laughs> Does anybody know the name of this song? Because this song is not just from this game. This is like a pop... This is like a song. No. There's like a video on YouTube of a sea lion spinning around in the water while this song plays. This is a real... I don't know what the hell it is. If you know the name of the song, link it, yeah. There's a video on YouTube of a sea lion spinning around while this song plays. He's like floating. This game hard. I play a good guy, I lose. I play a bad guy, I lose. Here we go. Found a rule about PvP combat. Oh, I guess you guys solved it already. That was really not what we were concerned about. The show must go on. Hold up, is this actually song? If this is a Rick Roll, you're getting a five hour ban. Fine. <gasps> no, this is it! The video's called There's No Need to Be Upset. Dude, that's the video! I've been looking for this for years! This is called There's No Need to Be Upset. I've been looking for this video for years. How did you find it that quick? Hold up. I gotta play it. The song is called Happy H Christmas. Wait, really? It's a little strange. Spinning Sea Lion song. Why is there ads on a Spinning Sea Lion song? I fucking hate the world we live in. Here we go. Yeah, dude. How can you not be happy watching this? How can you not be happy looking at this? Look at this, bro. He's just vibing. <laughs> dude, I love sea lions. Wait, what was in my recommended? What was in the recommended? I missed it. I'll, I'll let me... Oh, <laughs> it's because, it's because I only use this account when I do like you laugh, you lose, or Sunday stream videos. So, all it is is Sunday stream shit. This should be our new BRB screen. This should just be our new BRB. All right, now that our shit's copyright claimed, let's uh, continue. Oh, I can't believe I was steamrolled by Flan. I should really retire. Open an inn or become a merchant. Anything but a hero. Not everybody's suited for the hero biz. 
Dude, am I the only one that loves this game? I'm loving streaming this. I'm loving playing it. I'm loving talking to you guys about the silly jokes. Finally, at the foot of the tower, the lair of the evil wizard, will you be able to save the village from its ill fate? This is actually becoming quite exciting. You can do it, Rez. I guess if anyone has a chance to win, it's you. If you defeat the evil wizard, we win the game. Oh no. This is the thing I was telling you guys about that made me feel like a dipshit here because it was like, I am the cursed save point. There is a 50% chance that I will delete your save. Lucky for you, you have several saves. So I was nervous when I saw these. Cause like, dude, I don't want to delete my save file. But I was like, wait a second. I could just try again and then it saves. So I was like, that was stupid. Yeah, let's take it. Let's risk it. Your save was no deleted you have a bad time kid uh but seriously uh, your game was saved <laughs> good luck you're gonna need it You've come a long way, warrior. I see that you are armed. Oh, green mage is the evil wizard? You are not the first that they have sent to assassinate me. Isn't that right, Rasta Beast? The villagers just fear what they don't understand, you see. Don't listen to the evil wizard, Red. Shut up, Rasta. I don't have time for this, and you heroes are bothering me. Your death will serve as an example for anyone that would even consider disturbing me. Oh, snap. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Don't get too cocky, Red. Change weight. There's a lot of sensory overload. In my brain. I feel like he's got a lot of health. You think you're fighting evil. You are so full of yourself. This is a, now this is a good boss fight. I am the one who hears God. No fair, two against one. I can't 
can't believe I was beaten by a wooden doll wearing a metal bucket. One day I will have my revenge. Ugh. Smoke them! Thanks for saving me, Red. I wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for you. Let's get back to the village and tell them the good news. Now that the quest has come to an end... Look at that! Red and Rasta Beast journeyed back to the village, silhouetted by a glorious sunset. Once returned, they were received as heroes for defeating the evil wizard. Flan opened up a bakery where they sold slimy muffins, which proved to be quite a success. Sure, I'm always open to game recommendations. Zig decided to make the tower their home, where Zig lived happily ever after, or at least for a long time. And Nosferatu? Wait, you weren't in the game at all. I wanted to roleplay as one of the mushrooms. <laughs> he wasn't even in the game! Nosferatu continued the unfruitful quest of trying to learn the secrets of their past. The end! I'll add it to my list for sure. So what'd you guys think? That was a good session, Green Mage. So yeah, chat, all of that whole story arc was just a D&D &D campaign. That whole like 45 minutes or an hour was just them playing D&D. &D. I played better. I enjoyed it as well, even if it was a bit hard. I guess this is it. Actually, for your great efforts of saving the land of Medallion Red, it's a piece of the blue door! And with that, we will have all the pieces of the blue door. Take this tributary piece of wood as a reminder of this epic quest. Oh, wow. I'm sure it will come in handy. You picked up a piece of the door. Well played, Red. It was quite an adventure. Seems like you have a hidden talent. You played as if it wasn't your first time. What a great story. I'm glad we were finally able to finish the game. The villagers are eternally grateful for your courage, determination, and strength to save the land of Medallion. What about this? Hey, what are you doing? That is strictly private. The hatch is shut tight. You can't seem to get it open. All right, Blue, what's up and what next? I like this town. You can do it, Red. So, chat, we started with the nightclub. We went to the... Uh, we went to the Cursed Forest. We did the carnival. We did the castle. We did the Mushroom Forest. And we did Midnight Town. Along this very long, arduous journey, we've been trying to collect the pieces of the legendary blue door. This door seems broken. And we finally have all three pieces. Here we go. We fixed it. Hello, Red. Are you sure you want to enter this door? This journey is long and unforgiving. Do you still wish to enter? Like I said, I think I like this because it reminds me of like Super Paper Mario, which is my favorite Paper Mario game. Because that game had like a hub world that was filled with doors as well. And every door led to like its own chapter. And that's kind of like how this game is. Like the castle was a chapter. The carnival was a chapter. The mushroom forest, midnight town. And now, Blue Door. 
What will, what trials await in the blue door chapter? Let's find out. Do you still wish to enter? Let's do it. So be it. Holy hell, look at this. Holy shit. <laughs> Thus our journey begins. We must walk the desert path. See if we have what it takes. Yeah, where's uh yeah, we got Journey at home. Music, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I could not resist. <gasps> it's Rasta Beast. Rasta Beast. I looked away. <laughs> what happened? Damn, this game is crazy. Puppets even in this game? Alright, hold up. Rasta Beast is here. We're going off the path, but... Let's see what he wants. Hey, Red. And Blue. The night is here. Sit down and relax. You still have a long walk ahead. This reminds me of Metopia, where they would have, like, the, the campfires. I've been meaning to tell you, Red... This path will only lead to more torment. You've come this far, so I guess you've made up your mind. I'm afraid that this will lead to more questions than answers. I fear something horrible might happen if you continue. Anyway, much has been said. It's time to hit the hay. Good night. Hey, Red. I have a confession to make. It's a bit embarrassing. I don't remember why we're here. <laughs> what are we actually trying to achieve? I don't understand what we're doing. I feel like everyone is speaking in riddles. There's no clear indication of what's actually going on. If you really think we should continue forward, I trust you. I just hope you know what you're doing. Damn, dude. Intense ass stare. I just wanted to say that I trust you. Good night. Do you want to save? Yes. <laughs> eh, as good as a day can be. The road is clear. Good luck. All right. Our trek to the desert continues. This guy really wants his arm back. I mean, I guess I would do this if it was like my right arm, because I like I do everything. I play games, I write, I like drive. If I lost my arm, dude, I think I'd go on a quest to get it back. That's pretty useful. I wouldn't even really be able to play games. I have to like play one hand and then with my mouth. So yeah. You can play some games with one arm.
VR games, true, true. You're right. Nero, Nero had to deal with that twice in DMC4 and DMC5. Enough, buddy. Look, pal. I tried stopping you earlier, but you ignored it. We laughed and let it slide. But now, I've really got to put my foot down and tell you. Go back. Go back and stay out. And I won't hurt you. Sorry, man. We're on a mission. We've come too far. I see. So be it. Get ready for a beating, fella. <laughs> Come on, mate. Why do you gotta be so stubborn? If you won't turn back, I'll be forced to take you down. All right. Oh, shit. All right. You asked for it. I hate to do it. You're gonna be real sorry. If you take one more step, kiddo, you're gonna have a bad time. I shall unleash my fury upon you. Like the thunder of a thousand lightning storms. What am I doing? Why would this work the second time? <laughs> Alright, hear me out. If Goldpig asks, please, just say that I fought valiantly. I displayed great acts of heroism and all that jazz, and I won't waste any more of your time. You got it, bruh. What do you want from me? Yo, thanks for the sub! Thank you, thank you, thank you. September's popping off, bro. This is only the, the first stream. Hype, the mill one hype, the mill one HYPE. That's what I'm talking about. Can't you see how angry I look? Sorry, bro. Can't stand one second with one second without milk. It's like showing like a crack addict under the bridge, like ripping their skin off. Like one second without milky finisher. <laughs> Alright, to me, this is one of the most sad parts of the game. There's a car, side of the road. A broken car. There's some batteries next to the engine. Do you want to pick up the batteries? Chet, remember... Brown Mage needed the batteries. Remember, he's like, if you give me batteries, I'll give you something amazing. We kind of need batteries. <laughs> you picked up the batteries. <laughs> A broken car. Damn, bro. Took the, took the car's battery, is now he's dead. <laughs> the Luigi car. But hey, we needed to give batteries to that one guy. Dang, dude, we're finally here. We're at Gold Pig's new hideout. We went to, he was in the club, then we went to his other castle, now we're at his, the final, the final dungeon. Gold Pig's hideout. A big gate stands ahead. Do you want to open the gate? No, I walked all this way for 30 minutes to go back. Wow, you've walked the entire way to the old desert temple? Not many visitors come to these parts. It's good to have multiple saves. Who knows what might happen. 
Nice. Good luck with whatever you're doing. Look who finally stumbled in. You just won't give up. As much as I hate it, I must say that I admire it. Chasing me to a place like this? At the edge of nowhere? Lucky for you, I've prepared a welcoming party. Purple, do what I pay you to do. Oh shit. Hello, Red. I cannot let you continue down this path. Leave now. Or I will kill you. Oh, shit. We're getting real, dude. We're getting into the real nitty gritty. Okay, so here's a really fun fact. Like, here's a really cool thing. That's an Easter egg. It's kind of a spoiler, so I'm sorry that I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a spoiler. But it's just a really cool thing. So do you guys remember at the beginning of the game when we were at the club and we met Gaster? And he gave us this magic eight ball. And we can shake it and it'll say random things. You have abandoned humanity and accepted immortality. Never forget. But next to the magic eight ball, it says 28 souls are left. Which means that there's 28 people alive in Everhood. Just keep that in mind, okay? It's a really, really cool Easter egg. Just keep that in mind. It seems you didn't understand what I meant. You'll see. You'll see, Khan. Just watch. When I told you to leave, you'll regret disobeying my command. Ugh. I f f feel p pain. I have resurrected you from the dead. You are to follow my orders until I release you. So yeah, Purple Mage can do necromancy. What is it that you ask? I want you to disable the red one. Uh. <laughs> I had something funny in my throat. Alright, let's get down to business. You want to pass, Dolly? That ain't happening, amigo. You heard what the mage said. I'm gonna mess you up real bad. There we go. This song goes so freaking hard, we gotta turn this up. This song goes popping off. Let's do it. Focus. This is so good. Oh no! I was just about to heal. It's alright. We get to hear the song now, yeah, that's all that matters. Against Zob, the zombie. I'm doing way better, bro. No hit run, baby. Messed up my no hit run at the end. Oh well. <laughs> you are no joke. It's impossible, Purple. I can't do it. 
Yes, I see. I did not expect you to be victorious. So, well, let me talk to this guy. I can't believe I was being used like that. This isn't the first time Purple put me in a rotting corpse. I could have at least uh, been for something important. Bah. Those mages think they rule the world. So here's the cool thing. So, because we approached Purple Mage, and Purple Mage literally, like, resurrected a zombie, now if you look at the, uh, the Magic 8-Ball, it says 30 souls are left because uh, Purple Mage resurrected this guy and another guy. So it went from 28 to 30 because of the two zombies that were resurrected. And this is a cool detail that the game never really, like... The game never points it out. It's just like a passive thing. Like, you can easily miss it. But it doesn't go from 28 to 30 until Purple Mage resurrects. Yo! Thanks for September! You guys ready for the loudest character in the game? Cover your fucking turn down your audio. Thanks, man. I appreciate the resub, GMD. Get ready for the greatest month of live streaming yet. Lore. There's lore. You guys ready for some lore? I'm gonna actually remove my face cam. We can get some... Get some information about this mysterious world. It has been a long time since we arrived in what some call Everhood. So many years have passed that I've almost forgotten that some of us were once humans. So I thought that I would write our history before time fade away our memories. A long time before we found the rift that would enable us to transport to this realm of the immortals. When we were a society of millions and a small selection of us had the privilege to belong to the Institute. We had many debates on how to share this gift, this newfound miracle. Should we open it for everyone or should we uh, should only a few be allowed to visit such a plane? We decided that it had been far too long since we'd kept this gift to ourselves. In the end, we determined we should allow everyone to meet the entities. The masses were elated. A great majority decided to become immortals, while only a few would remain as mortals, such as the old, the sick, the unfortunate ones with reasons of their own. You could exp experience the most euphoric moments of your life, then completely forget that they had ever happened over and over again. I still have fond memories of using the earthquake machine during my dance-off battles with Pink Mage. They were one of a kind, and I truly miss them. Brown Mage. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, get ready for loud. This is the Zach Lolly to this game. I know your secret now. The tactic that lets you win. Oh! Fuck! I am wrong for my world champion! <laughs> your green zombie friend, they're down the hall. Gosh, dude. I turned it down. He's still so loud. That Rob sure is loud. <laughs> what do you want me to do, boss? Uh, well, since you're here. If you defeat it, I will release you from your binding. Okay, boss. It will be a piece of cake. Hey, red fella. You're going down. Oh, great. Now we gotta fight this loud screaming jackass. I don't like Rob's song as much as Zob. Zob's song is better. This song is okay.
You play good. <laughs> Whew! Not sure I can take them down, boss. I didn't expect you. I didn't expect you either. Nothing has changed, Red. Hey, it's me again. Thought I'd make things easier for you. Thanks, save point. You're pretty fierce for such a small guy. I can't imagine I'll beat you anytime soon. Unfortunately, that is not so fine for me. I need to fulfill my contract to defeat you. Then I can be a ghost again and hang out with my buddies. But it's a pretty nice being in my old body. Okay, buddy. Good luck with whatever you're doing. Oh boy. You're just prancing around in the same spot. I'm surprised you even got this far. The dead may not be able to stop you. The living seem unable to as well. But I will not let you continue. I will end your journey. So, this is one of the hardest fights in the game. And you'll see why. So, I hopefully that hopefully I'm still a pro cuz this is actually really hard. So, let me show you why this is hard. If you get hit at any point during this fight, time reverses and you have to play it over again. If you get not the whole thing but a lot. So if you if you get hit once, time goes back and you have to do it again. It's the only character that can manipulate time like that. It's insane. Come on, purple. What you got, girl? Mm. Yeah, I'm bad at this one. God, the visuals, though. Holy shit. What a good boss fight. Purple, you piece of shit. What's wrong? You can't fucking jump or something, Red? Don't know how to jump anymore? Yeah, just start the whole fight over again, why don't you? Jeez Louise. I know you're getting tired. <sighs> Impressive. I won't be able to stop you. Understand that I did what I had to do. Let your choices 
be merciful. All right. All that remains, the only thing standing in our way from getting uh, our arm back is Gold Pig himself. The final boss. The final obstacle in our way. It seems you are unbeatable after all. I assume now you feel entitled to have your arm. I won't let you take what is mine. You are going to have to take it from my cold, dead hands. I will end you. Here we go, gold pig time. I actually find Gold Pig to be way easier than Purple Mage. Watch, I say that, I'm gonna die now. I will stomp your little face. The, the music is good though. Jeez Louise, I don't know how the hell I survived that. I hate these swervy notes. I don't know where they're going to land ever. Ah, there's too many of them. making you come back. I am powerless to do anything. Why won't you die? Stand still and die. I refuse to lose against someone like you. Take this. Oh God. <sighs> Getting tired there, buddy. You're out of shape. Chump, yeah, right? <sighs> Typical of you to just dodge my attacks. Why do you keep challenging Red when you know you always lose, Gold Pig? What? Uh, what do you mean? Don't tell me that you've forgotten. It seems you don't remember Red's other side, Blue. <laughs> Always being a pawn in someone else's l scheme, little gnome. The doll has been using you all along to get its arm back. What? But uh, I didn't know. 
didn't know or forgot. You scatterbrain twerp. I noticed you kept forgetting things. It was just a matter of time before you turned completely useless. That's why I took your legs. My legs! You stole my legs! Oh, hey, it's Green Mage! He's back! You stole Blue's legs. You let your greed control your actions again, Gold Pig. Why would you even take Blue's legs? I thought they might be useful as toothpicks. You give me my toothpicks back. I mean my legs. Give me back my legs. You should return the legs to Blue. Blue is weak. They don't deserve to have anything. Give back the legs, you hoarder. Yeah. Uh, fine. Hey! Blue got his legs back! Look at him, he can walk again! I, I... I can finally walk again! I guess I don't need your help anymore. Thanks for helping me, Red. Now... Where's Red's arm? I think you'd better spill the beans, Gold Pig. These guys don't give up. That's what you want, right? Your precious little arm. It is no use to try and hide it any longer. I keep it in the treasury. Go and get it, then buzz off. I forgot what it like. Well, I've forgotten how it felt to be tall. Eh, okay. I'm forever grateful for what you've done for me. You should go get your arm. That's what this has all been about. I think I'm going to stay here for a while. I've missed standing on the ground. Well, we did a chat. We finally got Red's arm. It's been a pretty fun journey. I've recently experienced living without something essential in life. I would hate for you to be in a similar situation. So you better go get your arm back before Gold Pig tries something. I won't beg you for anything. I just took your arm because the mages said I could keep it. Now go away. I don't want to see you. You have fought and proven yourself. You deserve your reward. That is the only thing I will say. You want to save? Yeah. Great. Good luck. And we get to see visions of everything and from our journey. The robots, the mushrooms, Nosferatu. It's all of our memories. There it is. We finally reached our arm after all these trial and tribulations. Do you want to pick up the arm? Are you sure? You picked up your own arm. And that chat was Everhood, dude. I love that game. The story of trying to get our arm back. But it's not over yet, Snake. Haha, <laughs> tricked you, boy. Seems as if the doll has finally found its arm. You've proven yourself more than worthy to get your arm back. 
Now that you've seen what remains of this world, the ones in this world are trapped here in this realm. They have lived for many, 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 many eons. Do you remember when I was walking in the hub world and the lightning flash and there was a bunch of tally marks? All of those tally marks are years that these people have lived here. All the people in Everhood have lived here for millions and millions and millions of years. Searching for release, for purpose, for a meaning for far too long. I must ask of you a huge favor. Help free us from this eternal wandering. So it's pretty much revealed that Everhood is actually like a purgatory. That people's souls like stay here and they, they are granted immortality. Anybody who wanders into Everhood becomes immortal. You must find extraordinary courage and determination. As this will be an immense challenge to end this world. I will show you how to free the souls with your arm. Prepare yourself, human. So, yeah, pretty much what, like, the big plot twist of this game is that this is not the ending. This is just the beginning. This is the halfway mark. So, um, now... After halfway through the game, you get the biggest mechanic in the game that was never introduced. I know I technically said that the sword is only for the D&D campaign, but the, the ingenious thing about this game is that the sword is used as a tutorial for the largest mechanic, and that is the ability to use your right arm. The right arm ability is a counter. As the frog is going to explain, the way that it's used is... If you counter two of the same color in a row, you get an attack. And then you can send that attack back to an enemy. So the first half of this entire game is just you can only dodge because you don't have your arm. Now that you have your arm, you have the option to actually fight back. Yep, you actually get to fight back now. So from this point in the game, which is why everybody uh, recommends that you make a save point right before you get your arm back, you can now do m different paths. You can play the second half pacifist and continue to not kill anybody. Or from this point forward, you can choose who to kill or you can listen to the frog and kill everybody. So from this point in the game, you now have the option to either dodge and play defensive or you can use their attacks and you can actually do damage like you did in the D&D campaign. But instead of just hitting red attacks, you can choose what attacks you do by... See, if I hit the arm button, he uses his arm, and you deflect by doing two of the same colored notes. So now it becomes way deeper. So now you have to dodge, jump, and boom, you can attack him. Defeat the frog. Yeah, it has to be two of the same color in a row. Or else it won't work. So now, yeah, by hitting the button, you can counter moves. Don't worry. I will be fine. That's the game's way of saying, even if you, you have to do this as a tutorial, it won't kill the frog. So you can still do pacifist route, even by attacking him in the tutorial. Well done. See, you don't actually kill him. He's just teaching you. So fighting him, there's no way to be passive in this fight. You have to fight him until he stops the fight. You did well, Red. It will be a challenging mission, but you do not stand alone. You are the key, our champion. To free us from the shackles of immortality, seek out the spirits if you are in doubt.
The music is like so ominous now. So want to see something crazy, chat? This is crazy. Watch, here's the save point, ready? You can now kill save points. And if you do, they never respawn. Which means you never get a save point again. You can kill, you can kill everything. From this point on, anything alive, you can kill it or not. It's crazy, dude. Ever, this is where everyone gets nuts. You want to save? Yes. Great. Good luck. So, Chad, I gotta ask you. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to do pacifist route or genocide route? Now the, the, the branches begin in Everhood. Geno route? All right, then we'll do it. If you guys want me to, I can also do pacifist. So I'm going to say a, a small little spoiler. Unlike Undertale, genocide is actually the true ending. Genocide route is the intended path for the story, where pacifist is like a secret. Kind of like how genocide route is like a secret in Undertale, where it's like you just pretty much fight like super bosses. It's kind of the same thing. If you do pacifist route... The story's way shorter, but you get one of the hardest fights in the game. You get this game's equivalent of Sans. But, unlike Undertale, you're actually... The true ending is to do Genocide. So, alright, we'll do Genocide route. I understand. Oh, no! Oh, it begins. Also, save points don't count as uh, souls. So, it just says... 30 souls are left. Alright, chat. We'll, we'll do genocide route. We'll do genocide route. Oh god, it's Gaster. <laughs> Gaster and his family. Finally, you have your arm back. It has been such a long time. The mages have fled, for they know what is coming. But they don't understand why they must be killed. Damn, dude, this is this is so dark. That means we're gonna have to kill if we do genocide route, we're gonna have to kill all of our friends. Rasta Beast Blue. We're gonna kill everybody. If we're if we're committing to genocide, we have to kill everyone in the whole world. You must help them by ending them. So they're justifying it by saying. If you kill them, you're freeing their soul from purgatory. Because they've been here for millions and millions of years and they're trapped. And we're the only one capable of killing. Which is why they took away our arm. That's why they took away Red's arm. Because he was the only one capable of killing. If you need help finding the remaining souls, we will be in our court. Damn, bro. Dark, darker, yet darker. Hey, I know who you are. I know you've played this scenario before. So let me just preface this by saying... There's a genocide route, a pacifist route, a couple other things. There's also a secret route that you can only get on New Game Plus that involves this guy. We're not going to do that, though. You can only find this character if you've beaten this game before. So he's like, I already, you know all about the story. You strike me. We'll do this one day, but not right now. I'm not going to interact with this guy. This is a secret guy, and he leads us to the hardest boss in the game. I can't beat him. I spent like five hours trying to beat this damn boss. I could not do it. It is the hardest fight of all time. One of the hardest bosses I've ever played in a video game. We'll do it one day, but not right now. I could use someone with your uh, talent. Yes, yeah, so we'll, 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 we'll talk to this guy one day, but not right now. So this is this is the secret route. The epilogue route. Do you want to go on a treasure hunt? No. In fact, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? That was a part of our deal! 
All right. Easter egg cat is dead. <laughs> so now you actually lock yourself out of being able to do that route because we killed him. All right. Let's go talk to Gaster. I'm not going to kill Gaster right now. The forest spirit awaits you in the mushroom forest. I can give you something that will help. Help you find the souls. Some might say the extra help isn't necessary, but I say take all the help you can get. Do you want to help finding souls? This lantern. It will help you find souls. Thank you guys. You guys, you, you know, for, you know, Gaster fan group, for the number one Gaster fanboys, you guys aren't too bad. Thank you. You picked up a lantern. So the cool thing about the lantern is, yes, if you stand still, it'll show you where, like... So if you're looking, if you're, if you're having an issue finding, like, who to kill next if you're trying to do genocide route, this, this makes genocide route a lot easier. It's optional, but I like it. So if you stand still, the... the Paw prints will lead you in the direction of anybody who's still alive. Just so you're not wandering around looking for random shit, you'll always know where to go. Um, where to go first? The castle, maybe? Okay. There's really no right or wrong uh, area to go to, I guess. So I guess we could go to the castle first. I'm not going to play this for too, too much longer, but yeah. I'm going to do genocide. Yeah, the game's lore is awesome. Once you get your arm back, I actually find the game to be even better. Actually, actually, yeah, I will go here. Did it not understand? How boring. What a disappointment. So anticlimactic. Typical human. I had a feeling about this one. Actually, I was wrong. I gotta go to the mushroom forest. Cause what we just what we just did was starting pacifist route. Cause the gasters the gasters don't like that you're not killing. So if you actually continue the rest of the game without killing anybody, the gasters start to get mad. They're like, why is he disappointing? He's not listening to us. Do the right thing and save them. Yeah, I'll probably play a little bit more tonight, and I can probably finish the game in one more stream. Maybe. We'll see. I'll try. But I like streaming it. I'm having fun. I hope that you guys are having fun watching it. Hold up. Spooky trees. We have to talk to the forest spirit. He will become our first, uh... First, uh, victim. So, you guys ready for sad mode? From this point of the game, if, if we're actually committing to genocide route, get ready to be sad. See all these mushroom guys having fun? We gotta kill all of them. They're just vibing, bro. Sad route, here we go. This is what you guys wanted. Don't miss the point of the whole thing. It's a musical thing. We are supposed to dance, sing, and enjoy ourselves. No! The music stopped! There's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, but a lot of them don't know they're in purgatory. That's the sad part. Like, a lot of them don't even know why they're being killed. There comes a time for us all. He played D&D &D with us. No! Death is temporary. Life is eternal. Damn, we're just smoking everybody. Are you struggling? 
Are you sure of your actions? You can't kill me in a way that matters. Whoa, whoa! What a twist that you'd be the one to have such power! Life sure is full of surprises. So long for now. I am the guardian of the mushroom forest. Oh yes, here it is, the Reaper of Souls. I've been looking forward to speaking with you. Have you come for my guidance or for my soul? I would love to talk to you, buddy, but chat wants genocide, Rao baby. Sorry, Deku Tree Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. Full of determination. A fierce champion. Liberator of life. Now. Shall we battle? Oh, he's not going to go down without a fight. He ain't going down without a fight, boy. I've killed all your children of the forest. What can you do now? Just like that. What? Fuck. More red, more. So yeah, the battle the battles get way harder because they're way more complex. So I gotta focus. I can't really read chat while doing this. He's so close to dying! Gotcha! Performed admirably. A true liberator. Finally. You will be received as a true champion when you reach the end. Farewell. Damn, dude. We just killed the forest spirit. I got water right here. But we also can't forget to kill the guardian mushroom. Remember there's the brown mushroom hiding? Dead or alive, for me, it does not matter. I can let you kill me without a battle. Or would you prefer to fight? Do you want to battle me? Nah, I'll just kill you without fighting. <laughs> we got enough fights. I already fought you once in the other round. It makes me happy that you're not violent by nature. Farewell, young one. Save. Don't run around too much here. Shut up! You're not my mom. I've had a great time, but I look forward to new horizons.
The orange mage is hiding in their fortress. It is trippy. Time to kill everybody in the dance club. <laughs> Alright. Yo, yo, yo. Red's here to kill everybody in the club. It's been a pleasure. My way. Red is so menacing. Oh. I'll save actually first. Just get oh, you're a VIP? Nice. You can save your progress here. You want to save? Yeah. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Alright. On my way, buddy. What do you want to do? Good music. Good people. I lived good. Goodbye. <laughs> no, I don't want to kill. What's her name? Rize? Rize? She's like one of the only females in the whole world. And we're going to kill her? She's like the only girl in all of Everhood. Imagine living for millions and millions and billions. Billions and billions of years. And there's like two girls in the whole fucking world. That sounds a little bullshit to me. What do you want to do? Let's talk to her first. I wonder if it's all there is. Well, you're about to find out. There's, you're, you're going to go see your maker. Every day is just the same. It feels like I've accomplished everything I wanted to. What remains just doesn't excite me. It's just a grind. Well, maybe you want to die. Live by the paycheck, you know? Hey, don't act hostile or have the guards kick you out. Hey, I'm serious. Damn, Red's brutal, bro. Red is ruthless. I don't give a fuck. Pfft. Holy shit. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Dude, they got a wanted poster for him now. Oh, yo, get this, get, get this mf -er out of here. Uh, there's no escape from you. Uh, I always wondered if I was truly conscious. I might... Finally, you can get some answers. Jeez, I told you guys, this is depressing. This is a depressing ass game. If you you, you guys all want a genocide route, you guys edge lords. What's up, Z Zed or whatever the hell your name was? Zig. This guy was always an asshole to us from the beginning. He's had it. He's had it coming. You want to fight, huh? You act tough, but I've never seen you actually throw any punches. This time. I'll teach you a lesson. Well, you're about to find out, uh... We haven't had our arm till now. It's actually kind of hard to kill him. You have to, like, attack him a lot. Because if you don't do it in time, then it doesn't count. So this one's actually pretty hard to kill this guy. This is one of the longest fights. It just goes on so damn long. But again, I am playing on hard mode, so. But uh, I might switch it to normal if it gets too hard. Just because I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me fight the same bosses for five hours. I don't, I don't think you guys want to watch me play the same boss over and over again. So I might switch it to normal mode. We'll see. 
shit. I will say, the final boss of Genocide Route in this game, holy shit. The final boss of Genocide Route is one of my favorite bosses in any video game ever. I think the final boss of Genocide Route is incredible. It's my favorite song in the whole game, favorite fight in the whole game. It's absolutely, it blew me away. How are you so fast? Last time. You got lucky. Can't catch me, boy, and fast as fuck, boy. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, this song is called Tinnitus Dance, and it's the song that I used in the Mint trailer. I just used this song for the for the Mint trailer. I just felt like it fit. It just reminds me of like a hacker. Or, I don't know. Hurry do? I don't want to die here. Are you fucking- He had- <gasps> Wow! He had one hit point away. I'm so pissed. <laughs> he had one HP! Oh, come on, bro. This is a long-ass fight, too. Fuck you, Zig. Piece of shit. <sighs> I can't believe that bullshit. Alright, let's deal with him quick, I guess. Luckily, majority of his attacks are all blue notes. So it's like easy to attack him a lot. Because it's like all blue notes. He's just, he's just like a, a health sponge. Fuck. It doesn't count as damage if like it hits a, hits a, an attack and reflects it. I think it busts through two notes at max and then it won't stop. So like, as long as there's two or less notes in the path of your attack, it'll go through. Because you can only break up to two notes at a time. Because if there's three, it will just not reach the enemy. <laughs> Bitch. See how that didn't... It didn't reach him because there was too many notes. Here we go. We're back to where we were. We got him this time. How are you so fast? You won't be so lucky. Damn it. Die already! Cause if if the if the song stops there, he's dead. You're dead, Jake. Piece of shit. Now he's dead for good. 
He was he was kind of an asshole. He was always kind of an asshole, anyways. Oh, I don't feel so good. I was more sad about Reese Reese or whatever the hell her name was. Sorry, hold up. I wasn't going to stream this game as long as I did, but I just get addicted to it. I just get addicted to this game. I don't know why it's fun. This will be up on the Milky Archives, obviously. Tomorrow will be Sunday stream, though, so look forward to that. I'm going to kill these la last two people, and then I'll probably stop. Worked too much. Should have done other things. Damn, bro, relatable. My face cam is blocking it, but every time you kill someone, the counter in the upper right goes down. And then if you check the magic eight ball, it'll say like 25 souls are left. But in the upper right, the number clocks down. All right, let's kill fake Flowey. Do not harm the automatic terror machine. Or it will harm you. Do not damage evil property. <laughs> yeah, this guy dies way quicker than Zig did. I don't know why Zig is like such a damage sponge. Also, the black notes can't be absorbed if you were wondering. So if you're ever like, why is Zach not going for those notes? Black notes cannot be absorbed, only color. What's up, Smog? It's morning for you? Where the hell are you live where it's morning? Welcome to Saturday stream. Fancy seeing you here. You can save your progress. Nice. And good luck with whatever you're doing. Oh, should I stop here? There's a really, there's like one more cool fight I should do. It'll take like 10 minutes. Should I do 10 more minutes? Chat, what do you guys say? End our, uh, end our dark escapade here. Or... I just gotta take a quick, if I do, I gotta take a quick bathroom break. There's a really, there's a really cool, crazy fight coming up. I'll do it. I'll continue it. Let's just, one more fight. One more fight, one more fight. Ooh, it's against the secret Usagi. I just gotta go to the bathroom really quick, really fast. I'm not even gonna put up a BRB screen, just, just really fast. Actually, I will, just so that when I edit the VOD, I know that to cut it out.
But let's kill the little Usagi. Nani. We're going back to the beginning of the game. Oh shit, here we go. I'm gonna bump the audio for this one. Here we go. Like I said, black notes you can't absorb. Fuck, fuck. Oh, jeez. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at this fight. Come on. I had to itch my face, Red. Whoa. This song is so good. This fight is so good. Look at these crazy rainbow people. Didn't I tell you this was a sick boss fight? Oh god, I forgot I still gotta control it. Why is this game not more popular? Such an underrated game. I can't believe it. Oh no, it's the gnomes. Anytime there's gnomes, you know the game is about to get crazy. Rest in peace the bitrate. Rest in peace the bitrate. Holy shit. You guys can probably not even see my damn screen. I'm shocked. what it takes, human? <laughs> w game, bro. You alright? You seem quite distressed. Hey, buddy. Do you want to save? Nice. Good luck with whatever you're doing. Yeah, well, I'm killing the world. It's been a ride. Seeing where you started. I hope to see you soon. Who's next? To, who's next on our murder spree, chat? Oh, oh 
Yeah, well, that's going to be a perfect spot to stop. And we'll have to continue on the next episode of the Milky Finishers Play Everhood. It's our best friend, Blue. No, it's Blue, our boy. Well, that'll be for next time. So uh, enjoy. And that will hopefully get you guys to tune into the next Everhood stream in a couple days. So <laughs> uh, if you want to see how uh, we're going to handle this one. So.